All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to take a look at more exponents and roots. And hopefully today, we will teach you how to divide exponents. So we have to start with something. Let's start with 16 over... 28. Okay, how can we divide 16 by 28? And remember, this video is supposed to be about exponent division. So far, there's no exponent. So what gives? Well, it's important now to do a little side work and remember that 16 okay, can be broken down into some prime numbers. So the very first prime number is 2 because 16 is even. 2 times 8 is 16. But 8 is not prime, so we break that down further into 2 times 4. But 4 is not prime, so we break that down further into 2 times 2. So we see now that 16 is really equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's hold that in our memory for a moment. Now let's take 28. Okay, 28 is not a prime number and it is even. So the smallest prime number that 28 can be divided into is 2. Okay, and 2 times 14 is 28. But 14 is not prime. So we break that down into 2 times 7. All right, so... 28 is actually equal to 2 times 2 times 7. What I'd like us to do now is rewrite this fraction as the quotient of all of these constituent prime numbers. So first we'll take 16. Instead of writing 16, we'll write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 28, we'll write as 2 times 2 times 7. Okay? Okay, remember the focus here is going to be on exponents. So where are the exponents? Well, let's take a look at what would be advantageous for us to do. You have in the denominator two twos. So let's put those in parentheses. And then let's group two twos together in the numerator. Okay, so that means we'll group these pairs of twos together like this. So we're almost to the exponents. Remember, when we take the product of two numbers that have no exponents, there's an exponent of one that is understood. So let me just put ones all over this thing. Even the seven gets a one. And let's rewrite so we understand. When we take the product of two the same bases with exponents, we add the exponents. So we'll redraw this fraction bar. But instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we've grouped these now. So we'll write 2 squared times 2 squared over 2 squared times 7. Okay, and now we get to exponent division. So what, what is the rule for exponent division? So I'm actually going to write this out and I want you to commit this to memory. Exponent division. This is also called the quotient rule. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T -E quotient rule. So what is the quotient rule? The quotient rule states that when you divide, when dividing, 
exponents or perhaps I should say when dividing bases with exponents you subtract them okay let's see that in action so we'll take our problem here bring it down let's focus in on just this part 2 squared divided by 2 squared 2 squared divided by 2 squared so here's how this looks 2 squared divided by 2 squared is equal to the if it's the same base 2 raised to the power of the exponents subtracted from one another so 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 it's kind of the flip side of the product rule where you add the exponents when multiplying the bases so that would give us 2 raised to the power of 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0 there's another rule that's going to come into place right here and this rule is called the zero power rule or the zero exponent rule sometimes okay so when you have a base raised to the power of zero the number evaluates to one okay that means that a billion raised to the power of zero is one a trillion raised to the power of zero is one and two raised to the power of zero is one okay so now that we have the the quotient rule and the zero exponent rule or the zero power rule in our toolkit let's go back to our original problem okay I'm going to bring this down here we have 2 squared times 2 squared over 2 squared times 7 so we're going to use the quotient rule on these bases and exponents right here so that means that this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times 2 squared over 7 so 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 becomes 2 raised to the power of 0. So we'll write that, that this equals 2 raised to the power of 0 times 2 raised to the power of 2 over 7. Okay, so this was the quotient rule right here. And now we're going to use the 0 exponent rule or the 0 power rule. So this becomes 1. 2 raised to the power of 0 becomes 1. So that's 1 times 2 squared over 7. Now, we don't need the 1 because 1 times 2 squared is the same thing as just writing 2 squared. So we will write 2 squared over 7. And 2 times 2 is 4. So the final simplified fraction is just 4 over 7. Now, you might be thinking, hey, we didn't need to do all this to get 4 sevenths. We could have just found a common factor and divided the top and the bottom by that common factor. And that is true when we're dealing with numbers. But when we get into variables and we start using x and y and z and a whole host of other letters, it doesn't seem as clear. So knowing how to do these rules with actual numbers, actually it helps you to see that what's kind of really going on behind the scenes. How you get from 16 28 in the beginning, you break it down to primes, and then you apply these exponent rules, you, you group them in a way that's advantageous, and then you apply the exponent rules that we've learned, in this case the quotient rule and the zero exponent rule or the zero product rule to simplify this rational number 16 28 all the way down to a nice 
easy, reduced, four sevenths. Okay, well that's enough for this video. We will continue to explore more and more with exponents and roots. This was all about exponents today. We'll get into roots and root division in another video. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, please put that in the comment section. And please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are always alerted to new videos. Thank you.